So you have a Steam Deck and finally have it all set up the way you want. You got all of your favorite games on there, apps, you've downloaded a ton of protons, maybe even some emulators and ROMs, which obviously takes a bit of time to set up. Maybe you even have a dual boot set up with Windows. And if you have watched any of my Windows on Deck tutorials, then you know how much work goes into setting up a Windows install on the Steam Deck. Not just installing Windows, but also the drivers, the bloating Windows, setting up controller support, setting up your custom performance overlays, and the list goes on. Then one day you decide, you know what? I need a larger SSD. This SSD that came with my Steam Deck just isn't large enough to hold all of my games. And then you realize that when you install your new SSD, you're gonna have to reinstall and set up all those games and apps again. Hey bro, come on now dog. Come on man. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a much easier way to do this. Rather than having to start over from scratch and reinstall everything, you can simply back up and restore your entire SSD onto your new SSD. And we can do this with Clonezilla. Clonezilla is a free and open source application that easily allows you to clone any drive and restore it. This works on the Steam Deck as well as any other PC. You can clone an entire drive or just a partition if you want. You can also restore it to any other device. Now, one thing I must let you know is that the destination must be equal to or larger than the source. You can clone a 256 gigabyte source to a 512 or a one terabyte destination, but not the other way around. Now, one idea that I've been toying around with is to use this to back up my entire Windows installation on my Ioneo, partition my SSD, which is a two terabyte SSD, and then install SteamOS and Windows as a dual boot. I can use Clonezilla to clone my Windows installation and then restore it back exactly the same way that I had it. Keep an eye out for that coming soon. Enough of that, let's dive on in. But before we do, if you guys enjoy this video or find it useful, please be sure to drop a like and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. We cover tips, tricks, and gameplay performance for the Steam Deck, as well as Ryzen 7 6800U powered devices like the Aya Neo. You definitely do not want to miss out on any of it. All right, so now let's go over what you're going to need. First, you're going to need a USB hub. You're going to need a USB thumbstick or SD card to store Clonezilla. You're going to need an external SSD or hard drive large enough to store the cloned image. You're also going to need imaging software like Rufus, which is what we used. You're going to need Clonezilla and we recommend using a keyboard for this. All right. So once you have everything in place, the first thing we're going to do is download Clonezilla and we're going to create a bootable image and we're going to use Rufus to create our image. The links to both will be provided in the description. And creating the image is easy with Rufus. We just make sure we have our SD card or thumbstick inserted. Make sure that we choose Clonezilla Live and then click on start. Feel free to pause here to make sure that your settings match with mine. And this whole process here will take just a few seconds and then we'll be ready to move to the next step. So for this process, we chose to use an SD card to create our bootable image. Once created, we insert the SD card into the bottom of the Steam Deck. If you're using a USB thumb drive, then you can insert it into the USB hub. We then want to boot into the boot menu of the Steam Deck. With the Steam Deck powered off completely, we simply hold down volume down and power until we hear the chime and then release. Once the boot menu appears, we select our bootable Clonezilla image, which for us is on the SD card and it will boot into Clonezilla. As you can see, there's another drive listed here as well. This is our external SSD where we will store the cloned image. We will now select our SD card and this will launch the Clonezilla software. Now our SSD inside of our Steam Deck is one terabyte and the SSD where we are going to store the image is two terabytes. So we have more than enough room to be able to hold our entire SSD image. At this first screen, all we have to do is press enter and it will take us to the following menu. On this next screen, it's going to ask us what language we want to use. We're going to choose English. After pressing enter, it's going to ask us which keyboard layout we want to use. We're going to keep this at the default and press enter. Here, we're going to tell it to start Clonezilla and press enter. 
Now here we are given some options. The one that we're gonna choose is device image work with disks or partitions using images. But as you can see, you can also clone from device to another device or to a server. But for this example, we are going to just create an image. And on this screen, we are gonna choose the option at the top, which is to use a hard drive or local drive. And at this point at the bottom of the screen, you'll see where it says into the device that you want to use to clone the image to. So if it's an external SSD, now is the time to go ahead and plug it in. If it's not already plugged in, wait for about five seconds and then press enter. All right, and then after you press enter, we're gonna see this next screen here, which is basically going to search for this external device that you're going to connect if it's not already connected. But if it's already connected, then go ahead and just press control C and then it will start the process. And basically what it's doing right now is it is scanning all of the partitions and devices that are currently connected. So. What we're seeing now are the partitions on the SSD in our Steam Deck, as well as the external SSD that is connected to the hub. And what we want to do is find our external SSD, which is the device that we are going to be cloning the image to. And we want to select that and hit enter. On this next screen, it's gonna ask you if you want to skip checking or repairing the file system before mounting. It's probably a good idea to do this, but for the sake of this example, we are going to skip that part. On this next screen is going to ask you where do you want to store the image on the external XSD and we're just going to use the arrow keys to go to browse and then we want to save it in the parent directory and click done. On this next screen we're going to select beginner mode and press enter and then here we're going to save to local disk as an image. And then here we're just going to give the image a name. We can just name it SteamOS or whatever you choose and then press enter. Here it's going to ask us which device we want to clone. This is the SSD in our Steam Deck. It only gives us one option, so we just press enter. We're going to choose to compress it and press enter. And then we're going to skip checking and repairing. And also here we're going to choose the option to check the image after it's done cloning the image to the drive. It's going to go through a check and make sure everything is good. And here we're going to choose to be given a prompt to either shut down or reboot once the process is complete. We'll just hit enter and then it's going to start working as magic. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to go through with it? After it's done scanning all the drives, all the partitions, it's going to give you the option. Do you want to go through with it? We're going to say yes. And we're just going to hit Y to say yes. And then it's going to say, let's do it. Now here's where the actual cloning process begins. And this can take a while. So I recommend doing this on a, at a time where you're not rushed, maybe setting this up before bed. And then when you wake up in the morning, it will be done. Not to say that it's going to take that long. Obviously the length of time it's going to take is going to depend on the size of the drive that it's cloning, how much data you have on there. I recommend deleting things if you don't need them and you know, things that are easy to put back like your games. Um, but if you have things that are difficult to put back or take a lot of time to put back, those are the things that I would leave on there. If you want to cut down on how much time this will take. All right. So we've officially completed the cloning of our steam OS drive on our steam deck. Took about 45 minutes from here. We can hit enter and power off the device. All right. So now you got your new SSD installed. You're ready to go. Now we're going to show you how to restore everything exactly the way you had it before you replaced your SSD. We're going to go right back into the boot menu the same way we did before by holding down the volume down plus power. And that'll bring us here to this screen. Once we're back in this screen, we're going to select the SD card or USB thumb drive, whichever you chose to use that has Clonezilla stored on it. And most of the steps you're going to see here are going to be the same steps that we did before when we clone the drive. So in this screen, we're going to hit enter on this screen. We'll select our keyboard for us as us English. We'll go ahead and click enter here. We'll click enter again. And then here we'll click enter enter again. And then here we'll click enter again. And then it's at this point, we're going to want to make sure that our external SSD, which is holding our image is plugged in and ready to go. And if it is, we'll go ahead and hit control C 
And after it's done scanning our drives, it's going to bring us here where we're going to select our external SSD, which for us is down at the bottom. And we're going to hit enter. And for the sake of brevity, we're going to do the same thing as before. We're going to skip checking. And then here we need to point it to the directory where our image is, was saved. So I'm going to use the arrow key, go to browse, and then we're going to scroll down to where it says steam OS. And then we're going to use the arrow key, go to done. And now it is mounting our image. And all we have to do here is press enter. And then here we're going to choose beginner mode. And here is where we're going to tell it to restore the image to the internal SSD on the Steam Deck. As you can see, you also have the option to restore it to a partition of the SSD. So for example, if you have your SSD partitioned, you can restore it to a particular partition as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit enter. And then here we'll hit enter again. And then we'll hit enter here as well. Here we'll choose use the partition table from the image and press enter. And here you can choose to check the image before restoring, or you can skip checking for the sake of brevity. We're going to skip checking and then we're going to choose reboot shutdown prompt once the process has finished and press enter. And then here's going to ask if you're sure you want to continue with this process, go ahead and type the letter Y and then hit enter. And that's going to start the process. All right. And just like before, this process can take a while. It took about 45 minutes for us to clone the image. So it's probably going to take around the same amount of time to restore it as well, which, like I said, this is a hell of a lot faster and easier than having to download Steam OS again, download all your games, download all your apps that you had install, all your protons, your emulators and your ROMs. This is a much faster and simpler way of doing it. All right, guys. So it looks like we're just about done re-imaging our Steam Deck. We have everything back where it was. So now we'll go ahead and tell it to reboot. And we're going to go into Steam OS and make sure everything is there. All right, guys. And there it is. We're right back in Steam OS the exact same way we had it. We didn't have to go and reinstall anything else. We just needed to clone it and then re-image it back. It's as simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, leave a like. Also, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos like this. Lots of tech tips on this channel for the Steam Deck. And even further, I and Neil, we're going to be showing some tech tips on that as well. We we'll look forward to seeing you guys in those future videos. We're out of here. See you in the next one. Peace.